Uh, Imam, you have the floor, uh, please. أعوذ بالله من السيدان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إذن صرع للمستقل من صرع للذين ألمت عليهم غير المعذوب عليهم ولا الضالين وإن تستفتحوا فقد جاءكم الفتح نصر من الله وفتح قريب وبشر المؤمنين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل الله أحد الله السمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفان أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلق من صار ما خلق ومن صار غاشق إجا وقب ومن صار نفاثات في الأغد ومن صار حاسد إجا حسد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من صار وسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما صلى الله تعالى عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين آمين شكرا إمام سي بشاب يهاب دفلو بليس شكرا يا شيرمان Lord God Almighty you who create all humankind in your image and in your likeness and you who have made every individual person unique in his or her own right. You who have endowed every human person with talent. We ask, Lord, that by Holy Spirit's power that you will grant that the people will use their talent productively and not in any destructive manner. We continue to ask, Lord, that as the TRRC continue to sit that the witnesses that present themselves here will speak the truth and that you will grant the commission the designing spirit to be able to decipher between truth and falsehood. And we continue to pray for the general populace and the diaspora as well, that they will be endowed with patience so that they will allow the due process of the law to take its course. And you who is the just judge of every humankind, your justice will fall squarely. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, I'm, uh, Bishop Udiko. Council, is the witness ready for us this morning? We, if so, let's proceed, please. Uh, good morning, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners. Uh, Mrs. Sagar Jahate Thomas. Sorry, 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 Sagar. You, I, 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 deserve, I deserve to be <laughs> reprimanded yes, yes, for that. Sagar Thomas Jahate would lead the next witness. And these are beautiful names. I don't know how, how I managed to mangle them, but I'm, I'm sorry, Sagar. <laughs> Thank you, yes, sir. Mr. Chairman, that's why I stick to Sagar. I have so many names, so that's why I just stick to Sagar. People wonder why, but this is exactly the reason. Uh, good morning, and uh, good morning, commissioners. Good morning, everybody. We are ready um, with our next witness, and the usher is on his way to get him. I have the easiest um, task when it comes to that, referring to the four of you colleagues and looking at me, all I say, counsel, 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 so I don't have to identify you. Ibujaju. Inge Ibujaju. Inge Ibujaju. Do swear that. Njomba kaliye de. Njomba kaliye. I'll speak the truth. Ante malenga na mkemne tu merege. Malenga na mkemne tu merege. The whole truth. Malenga na mrek. Malenga na mrek. And nothing but the truth. Let kwa wafu wafu mante malenga na. Let kwa wafu wafu mante kama malenga na mkemne. So help me God. Ata mti kani mti rambeni no. Mti kani mti rambeni no. Good morning, Mr. Jaju. 
We thank you very much for coming um, before the commission today to give your testimony. Not very short notice, I might add. We met yesterday, and as you know, my name is Sagar. My role today is simply to guide you through your testimony. And to question you from time to time on behalf of the commission. I have already explained some of the rules that we have here at the TRRC. I have explained some of the rules that we of them. Yes. simply keep them in mind as we sail through your testimony. You have indicated that you will be willing to speak in the Jola language. Okay. So please um, just take short statements for the benefit of the interpreters. Okay. Kindly assume a comfortable seating position and just draw the microphone closer to you. Okay. And this is so that you don't strain whilst you're giving your testimony. Okay. Thank you very much. Your testimony will span over two sessions today. Okay. And during this time, our main focus will be your arrest and prolonged unlawful detention. In, in the police cells at the Banjul police station. For a period of over nine months. After which you were left to languish at mile two security wing for a period of over three years. We would like you to narrate your experience, your treatment, and the conditions of your detention during this period. Okay. This will be the main focus of your testimony. However, we would like um, you to explain some other factors that you had experience in or you witnessed. And um, some of the topics would include the personality of Yae Jame, former president of the Gambia. Okay. His treatment of staff at the State House. And uh, these are your personal experience, um, experiences because you were actually working in the household of the ex-president. Okay. Accidents involving the presidential convoy and motorcade. Caused by the throwing of biscuits by Jame. Okay. 
during the time that you had an opportunity to travel with him within the country? What I know about Jimmy, what I know only Muribu and Uribom the Opera Jaka Jaura Kanaja or Minya the Convoy Asola. Okay. Jamez attire girls. The Jamme attire and Academy, what I got an Academy to Kujangak. Um, some of the female security um, officers that he had a relationship with. security. <laughs> the Napsa girls. We would also like you to delve into the um, issue of the junglers. And certain disappearances associated with their activities. As well as other victims of, of Yaya Jame. Particularly within the Jola tribe. Jame's um, alleged injection of spiritual concoctions in the food and drink consumed by the general public. It's not um, an injection in the sense of the um, medical term of inserting a needle into um, somebody or okay. something, but putting. So these are some of the topics that we would like you to shed light on in light of your experience um, working within the household of uh, Yaya Jami and accompanying him on local and international trips. If everything is understood, um, may we proceed? Yes, I understand. Please give us your full names. My name is Ibu Jaju. My name is Ibu Jaju. Thank you very much. When and where were you born? Benu Baji, Dine Nubaji, Emitia Nubaji. Yomani Baji Combo Dar Salami, the Emitia in 1966. I was born in Combo Dar Salami in the year 1966. And do you still live in Dar Salami? Dar Salami, Hanibeja, Bonukin. Hakai Bonukin, Hanibeja. That's where I still reside. What is your occupation? Okami Brokaboli, Tanonya. Nyemome. And you put them exile? Right now. Well, as I'm just from exile. I came with a motorbike, commonly called Jakarta. I came as taxi from in and out of the border. That's the one I used to transport people within the border of Dar Salaam in and out. So you engaged um, in a taxi business, more or less? Yes. That is what you are presently doing? Yeah. Yes, presently this is what I do. And that is a motorcycle taxi, not a vehicle taxi? But your motorcycle, motorcycle, taxi, taxi. Okay. Yes. What is your trained profession? One karange. That is a waiter. I am a waiter. What I trained is to be giving people water and food. Thank you. And uh, what is your educational background? Darsalami Primary School, St. Patrick's Primary School, 1971 to 77. Nijambe St. Teresa's Junior Secondary School, 1977 to 1981. Nilanyu Iripuitu Birkama Secondary Form 4, 1981 to 82. Nipurundu Hotel Training School, from 1982 to 84. 
Mr. Jaiju, just stop there so that the interpreter can interpret. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. My education background goes as follows. I started my education at St. Patrick Primary School in Dar Salami from 71 to 77. Then to St. Teresa's Junior Secondary School then from 1977 to 81. Then I repeated Form 4 at Birkama Senior Secondary School from 81 to 82. Then I went to Gambia Hotel School to train from 1982 to 84. And what were you being trained in at the Gambia Hotel School? Yeah, Gambia Hotel School, no longer Karang, the Waku Karangi. But Karang, I'm going to have food and beverage management. You and me, as an attorney, Mumelam Furiahu. My training entailed food and bravery, giving people food and drink. And when you finished your training at the Gambia Hotel School, um, what did you do next? I was born in Borokabo, and I was born in the Gambia Hotel School, food and beverage, Borokabo, and I was born in the Gambia Hotel. I was Gambia Hotel Training School, and I was born in the Hotel. I was born as a waiter from 1984 to 1986. From the training school, I was employed at BB Hotel where I started working from what I trained from 1984 to 86. From BB I proceeded to BB from 1984 to 96. And um, is that the African Village Hotel? African Village Hotel. Yeah, it was today, then African Village Hotel, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, were you um, occupying the position of waiter there? No. I was just giving the responsibility of a cashier, bar and restaurant cashier. It was a bar and restaurant cashier at African Village. Thank you. But you were a waiter at BB Hotel, is that correct? Exactly. But I waited at the BB Hotel then. Exactly. More come in. Exactly. And after you um, finished from um, African Village Hotel, where did you go next? Nyana nubando mi African Hotel, BB Hotel nyabe nu gane. Nineteen ninety one be nineteen ninety six Palmarima Hotel nla kene as a waiter, then promoted to a senior waiter. From African Village, I proceeded to Palmarima, where I was employed as senior. Senior waiter. Senior waiter. Senior, senior waiter from 1991 to 1996. Sorry for that. Mm -hmm. Continue. Okay, okay. From, from 1996. Yeah, and put me 19, 1996. Nijam can business in Monday's running center. When I finished at uh, this hotel in 1996, I decided to go on my own and start my own business. And um, I believe he said as a tele um, as a tele a tele yeah, tele center business. then the tele center operator. Yeah. Thank you. No, it is by my Isukai, and I like a run. There was a tele center of the village of Dar Salami which I was running. After that I had my own which was at Sintet in Fony Jarol. And what happened after that? I was born in 2001. In the year 2001, the day I was born, I was in the state house as a waiter. One of my relatives told me that there is a vacant position at state house, which was the position of a waiter. I was born in 2001. In the year 2001, I was born in 2001. In the year 2001, I was born in 2001. In the year he asked me whether I'm interested. This was in 2001. You know, Hakai, you have interest? Then I replied, yes, I have interest. But on condition? Then I said, on a condition. Because what kind of money cut an industry by then? You know, and when you dealing with the industry is SF drinks, Bunuk, to be SF. I explained to him that why I left the hotel industry is because I am growing old and my work at the hotel was I serve all type of beverage. So I have to do this on condition. 
Then he said to me, at State House, they don't serve alcohol. Because at the hotel industry, I do all, I serve all type of drinks. But the man said to me, at State House, we don't serve alcohol. Then I said, okay, I am interested. Then, then he asked me to go together with him to the commander of state house. No, to talk Lantom Bontamba and to ask commander. Then it was Lantom Bontamba who was there as the commander of state house. And you don't Lantom Bong, no Saforum. When I arrived, I met Lantom Bong and we greeted each other. Nice and two, Burkabati do state house, Bube, you know. He showed me all the work at State House. You are going to work in the house of the president then. Yeah, 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 Jamie. You know, fine. Now, then now I said, no, it's okay. Now, no, one thing. He said to me, one thing. If anything, ha if anything happens in that house, I personally don't want to know anything, which means nobody should know about it. Then I replied, yes, I've heard you. Then he called the security of the household. He came to pick me up and took me to the house. This is how I started work at State House. Mr. Jaju, um, who is the security officer he called to pick you up? Uh, Mr. Jaju, I am a security officer and I won't call him from my jangari. I'm a couple more jata. If I don't forget, he is a couple more jata. And was he also part of the State Guard? He owned the state guard, but oh, he was attached at the household kitchen. Yes, he is a state guard, but he was attached in the house as a household kitchen. Okay. And um, you've already explained that um, Lang Tombong Tamba told you the confidential nature of the work. Yes, I did. And do you know why the commander of the state guard um, was interviewing you and um, basically going through the recruitment process uh, with you, despite the fact that you know you were not part of um, the security, you were domestic staff or household staff? President. Uh, well, the way I see everything is he was just explaining to me to show me that in that house there is privacy. And um, who was your immediate supervisor once you took up the position? Well, when I reached in the house, I found the man called Sergeant Dow. Oh, my soldier. He is a soldier. But can can then or can act as controller of the household. He was acting as the controller of the household, the way I see him. And was he also part of the state guard under the command of Lang Tombong Tamba? Opo di kanya na kailan Tombong Tamba na lakie kom opo barok di a state state guard. Okay. Yes. And this was in 2001 when you started? Man, to emit 2001 and Kumasim Braka Bolido. 2001 in March, yeah. 2001, March. And when, when, when were you officially appointed? Yeah, I was officially officially appointed to Braka Braka Bolido. I was officially appointed to almost four to five months in my salaries. I started working in this household almost four to five months without salary. Yeah, okay, no, and the PMO. 
Then one day I was asked to go together with them to PMO. This was this was under Sergeant Dow. By Sergeant Dow. Jamudi ngum nimba jum interview with the PMO staff. I don't know PSC or PMO. When I arrived, I had an interview with the staffs of the PMO. And in Lalom, this was in 2000. I can't remember 2005. Bang. No need to come and question appointment later. I have a, I, my apologies. Continue, please. Then till 2005, when I received my appointment letter. I have a copy of your appointment letter here with you. I don't know if you would like to take a look at it. Na ne kaita kukat copy yoy di o kanya na kola mante puma pumu korosi apo music mante kakona. Okay. Yes, I will. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Yeah, Confirmed. Yeah, please hold on to it. Now, soft kaita. Can you give us the date of the appointment? Regularly, for na kafamu di kaita ko, na ngu safemi kafamu di kaita. Fule fule afanko nem July. The month of July. Kula iko na butinke nduku feji. On the 18th. 2002. 2002. And um, from the letter, what was your official um, position at State House? Nya diri li kaita kan kusafe nya letai. Wakami te kami palase wey dan wara murok. Uh, Dear State House. You are a steward. I was appointed as a steward. Can you tell us what that means? Purengo li pu fil ofelo li wami steward broka be steward. Okay. The the. The understanding of boom as a hotel and a ho hotel. From my understanding, as someone working who has been working in a hotel. Oh, can can to steward, ban steward can can na you and me amidikali kiten be kende be 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 esil. It's like uh, is a trainee who is learning how to cook. From my understanding, and the knowledge I gain from as but, a hotel worker. But when I reach at the state house, I gain the knowledge from the steward. But when I reach at the state house, I understood that steward is equally as a waiter so even, for them. Thank you. So even though um, the position that you were appointed as was steward, you performed the functions of a waiter. Hani kani kaita kan kusa femi tan kusa femi kone awa stiwa pala seoli bare broka be wita bonu kane mate broka boli mo ba yumeno that's what happened can you have a look at your appointment letter again and tell us if there was any other position stated on it nyaw jike kaita korsi ko jag mante pala se ke popet tan kusa fere mate ko yem broka boli pop eh bo ko kan kanto stiwa du kanto asila yes they wrote stiwa and they also wrote cook and um, can you tell us about that? Were you performing the role of cook? No, I was not cooking. Thank you very much. Mr. Chairman, I would like to tender the appointment letter dated the 18th day of July 2002 into evidence as Exhibit 126A. A request granted. Mr. Jaju, we're just giving you the original of the photocopy I just gave you. Kindly confirm. Okay, mo. Yeah, it's not the original. Thank you very much. Kindly give it to the chair and commissioners, Mr. Asher. And um, in 2001, when you were appointed as steward at yeah. the State House, uh, where did you live? I yeah, emitted in 2001, I was born in the State House as a steward. Where did you live? I was in Banjul, opposite Accident and Emergency Unit. I was residing in Banjul, opposite the Accident and Emergency Unit of the Royal Victoria Hospital then. And can you tell us how you came to start living in Banjul opposite the accident and emergency unit? When they took me to work with them, then I was residing in Serekunda. An irreplaceum Nabayam An irreplaceum Nabayam by medical and the Bayer Baker Sentinel Kabaway. The one I replaced traveled 
overseas for treatment. Yeah, temporarily in Lakum Serekunda. Oh, Ajaum. Then I temporarily resided in Serekunda until when he left. And I occupied his room. And that was located um, at the emergency accident and emergency unit, or near the accident and emergency unit. Opposite. Opposite. Yes. Yes. There is where I was. Was that official re residence for people who worked at State House or not? State House. It's like that because when I went there, I found a cook there. A cleaner. I found a cleaner also. And were you paying rent? No, I was not. And um, were you living there alone? I was there with my wife. Can I just have his last answer, please, Madam Interpreter? I was there with my wife. Were, were you there with other members of your family? Yeah. Okay. Doru. Opposite the emergency and the unit, yeah, um, the space was not big. I was there only with my wife. But when I moved to the other uh, house opposite Sonko Jileng, that one is big enough. I was there with my family. And when did you move to this other um, official residence? Yeah, I moved here in 2002. If I don't forget, it's in 2002. Thank you. Let's just go back to your official appointment as steward. What were your duties? What my job at this uh, state house was to give food and drink to the president and his family and also his guests. cabinet meeting, Okay, also where, when there is a cabinet meeting, we also serve them food and drinks. Did you only perform this role um, within the domestic setting of State House, or did you perform it elsewhere? Yeah, functions like banquet, or official opening at the Also, when there is a banquet or there is an official opening, we also go there to serve. And who would you serve in those instances? I only serve the president alone. Unless when he has a colleague, a president, I also serve the president. And were you the yes. only steward at State House uh, during your tenure? State House. steward. No, I was not the only one. We were three. Do you remember the names of the other stewards? briefly for less than two years. Then the Akun at Egypt, Mohammed. Yes, I worked with Nima Sise who for two years. For two years. Yeah, almost. Then followed by Lamin, Jame, Jame and Tijan, Boyan. and also Tijan Bojan, and also an Egyptian called Mohammed. As far as you remember, um, what periods did they serve? 
Can you open wall up? Because what you could look at, you know, but you book. What you what you could look at there the state house, eh? No, I come to one one orange jam. Can you open wall up? Because you meet you meet you could come there the state house. Look up. You meet someone but you book. Well, that would help on ten years, man. Because you man it it was a rock door. No, you didn't make it onto. You know, Ruben and Lamin Jamie. Now you know. This Muhammad came to in different intervals. That only so few minutes. I cannot remember because I only started with Nima, and it's Nima that I can remember. Served only two years, but followed by others as I name Lamin Jamme, Tija, and Bojang, and Muhammad. They were coming in different intervals. That's absolutely fine that you don't remember. But um, do you remember? Do you remember that they served during your tenure, which is from 2001 to 2008? No, no, you can't have Kenya But broke up. I Okay. Yes. And the food that you would serve to the president and members of his household and guests, um, who would normally prepare that food? They are cooks who do that. And um, how many cooks serve during your tenure? I don't know where Indonesia man take. By the way, I don't know where. In one of the South African Indonesia, by by Kapula Kabaya, no Morocco, sorry Morocco. By Asia, Pula Morocco. Pop. There were four Gambians and one Moroccan. Do you remember their name? Pungo Nuolo Resawali. Asia, Ajalum di Muhammad. I can't remember the name. And I want to look at the by Ojaro de Mohammed as the steward. I cannot remember the cook that came together with Mohammed. Um, you remember you told us that Mohammed was Egyptian, is that correct? Exactly. Yes. The other cook that came with him, where was he from? Nyasila Abilu Midi Muhammad, Bebene Purlo. Opo Egypt Midi Egypt Na Purlo. Wow. If I don't forget, he's also from Egypt. And what about the Gambians, the Gambian cooks? Do you remember their names? Ko Gambian, ko Sila, ko Gambian, ko Mumanyore Asoli. Okay. Yes, I do. Please tell us. Regoli. There was this. Susan Wafa Ogu at your Lakiri, Kerasaki Chafutbul. Susan Wafa Ogu's sister was there. I cannot remember the name. By whom Sir Sayang? You have Sir Sayang. I said to Jamie. I said to Jamie. The Lantumbo relative, all of Tua Lakiri, Port Tambo and Tamba's relative was also there. I cannot remember the name. I found her there too. So Alu 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 Tamba. Alu Tamba, okay. I now remember it's Alu Tamba. Thank you very much. And just so we clarify, the foreign cook that you said was Egyptian, um, you s also said he might be Moroccan. Can you confirm which two? No, e Egyptian, please. Yes, he's an Egyptian. Was You're sure. sure? Yes, I am. Thank you very much. Apart from the stewards that you mentioned and the cooks, were there any other members of the domestic household? Yes, but yes, we have different workers at that uh, state house. You have some Gambians, you have some Indonesians, mm -hmm. some Moroccans. It was like a mix of babysitters. Babysitters all. And were they all employed um, by the state or by the government, or were some of them privately employed by the president? Well, with the Gambians, 
With the Gambians, is they were paid by Gambia government. But the Indonesia, can Indonesia the Morocco? But those from Indonesia and Morocco. Ko, ngamla ko ofanga chame de. I think they were paid by him, the president, then. And um, after the cooks would prepare the food for the president and members of his household, um, can you just kindly take us through, um, you know, its progression from the kitchen to the dining table? I mean, what was your role? Yeah, come mu akosile kuna kusile sina skubanya prumbiko ambosa afu nyaa kuma se kabrinto to fusile f mante beto di table ita nato me safe bu gear meno. Yes, to to. Now some cooks are like a seal. There, whenever the cooks are cooking, I am not far from them. Because I have to see what they are doing. Sometimes when they finish cooking, or before they finish, Sometimes I have to taste the food to tell them whether the salt is okay or not. Sometimes when they are dishing out the leftover, the leftover, I will taste that one. Uh, I don't do it for any reason but to see if there is anything <coughs> else. What would disturb the president? I would use it first to confirm that it's safe. And um, kindly tell us, after the food is prepared um, and dished out, how would you serve the president or any other member of his household? Like if it is breakfast, if they finish preparing it, anytime he wakes up and is ready, the oddlies will inform me. One would come and escort him. And escort me. When we reach to the table, then I put it on. Then you stand and wait. Anytime he comes from his house, he will sit. Then I open all the food. Then you move out or you step out. Anytime he is ready to. They will call me. Then I'll go and clear the table. Even going in and out, all the in and outs, I have to move with an old oddly. So during the preparation of the food, this was done um, by the cook in your presence. And during service as well, you were accompanied and or escorted by the oddlies. <laughs> Yes, that's the way it happens. Yeah. Were you left at any time um, alone with the president's food? No, it doesn't happen like that. You've mentioned um, the oddlies. I mean, were they part of the domestic staff or not? They are part of Bravo Company, but they attack to the domestic and the staffs. They are part of Bravo Company, but they are also as part of the staffs at the State House. And um, Bravo Company was under what part of um, secure? What part of the security outfit? Yeah, Bravo Company fully made the from the Panakati security. Kokomi plain cloth. They are the plain clothes. Were they under the state guards? Yes. Okay. And um, what was the reason for the oddlies having to escort you from the kitchen to the dining area and then also having to escort you back? 
That's what I found there. I don't know for any reason. It might be for security reasons, but that's what I found there. And would those security reasons, for example, include um, to make sure that the president's food is safe? Yeah, security reasons are clear. I'm a pro man. Be can't see now. Mr. President, I'm be Mr. Stanka. Okay. Yes. And um, you must have interacted with the president on some personal level during the times that you were serving him. Is that correct? Okay. Yes. Did you engage in conversations with him? For example, It could be. It could not be because it's not directly. Uh, sometimes he'll just tease at you and then you respond. That was the only way it happens. Sometimes. When you have... Because I don't know if I'm going to um, sometimes it happens in the room when we are serving water. Let me tell you this and put this clear. He doesn't take water from the Gambia. He doesn't drink water of the Gambia. If the water that has been imported is almost finished in the store, I have to inform him before it finishes completely. Um, can you tell us what water he drinks? The water I found there, and if one I found him eat, drinking until the time I left, is avian water, and is the French avian water. Do you know why he confined himself to foreign water? French mineral water. He doesn't have trust. That's the way I see it. He, does, he didn't trust the local water. That's the way I see it. Even though his citizens were drinking it. That's the way it happened. <laughs> Please um, tell us how he would normally tease you, just out of, out of interest. Before I worked at State House, the way I perceive him, and when I came to work at State House, was quite different. Because when I started working at State House, I saw. Most of the things that he says and what he does there at State House is quite different. That one I can see that during my work with him. Please give us examples of this. Well, even when you look at his actions, when he moves out, he's good. He'll give money. But anytime he comes back home, no, there is a difference. He would insult, yeah, he's insult. He would insult. And you cannot imagine somebody who has been joking outside just comes in and change that insulting or being someone else. The second thing. 
He once said on television that dinner is not his problem. But when we are there, he will sit until 3 to 4 a.m. and then ask for food. That's dinner. For me, what he tells people outside and what he does inside there is two different things. Mr. Jaji, so would you believe he was a truthful or honest person? Yeah, Mr. Jaji, I put you in the matter of anonymity, analogen, anonymity, black, anonymity, malagen, mante, anonymity, analogy, malagen. Bala Iraq State House. Before I worked at State House. I thought he's a good person. But when I started working there, he is not truthful at all. It's as if being truthful is another thing for him. You've already explained his erratic and unpredictable behavior. Okay. Yes, I did. And the fact that what he did outside was different from what he did indoors. Okay. Yes. Do you believe he was playing to public perception of, of him? Yes, that's what happened. I can give an example. If a convoy leaves Banjul State House to Kandilai, he can be giving out money up to up to one million. But now, some but the convoy that went with him, when they arrive in Kandilai, when he gives them money, if they share it, it's up to 200 or so. It's not past $200. Because, uh, also his habits, the way he changes habits, has made my co-worker Mohammed I don't know what they discussed in Egypt until he brought uh, Mohammed to the Gambia. As we were walking for a long time, then he said to me, Ibu, I don't know the big man. He is a person with just different like attitude is like just like an uh, climate. climate now now angry Changing. Now, yes now now happy now now angry <laughs> <laughs> now now happy now now angry <laughs> so now english mohammed cannot speak english then i replied that's the way we see him anything you see take it like that can you tell us some of the insults he would use on you <laughs> If he wants to insult or he starts insulting, he doesn't have any other two minds. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the insults are always bitter. When the Jola say which, it means the insult is very, very bitter. And you cannot even repeat them. Please give us examples. He said, he said, he said, he said, even insult your mother. The, the, the easiest, uh, bastard boy, you can baran boy. Insulting you as a bastard is like taking water and drinking it for him. Because by him, by the old, the old, the it has happened with one of his oddly. He called him on telephone, they were talking. He called him on telephone, they were talking. All of a sudden, you come at the end, the 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 just for a sudden, we saw the man crying. When he put off the telephone, he looked at his colleague and said, do this man know what the meaning of bastard? Then, then he, the oddly was new. Then he said, the, when he was speaking to the old uh, oddly, he found there, then the old oddly replied, what you're seeing is just a tip of 
of the iceberg. Uh, iceberg. There is more to come. Has he ever insulted your mother? No, for me, many a times he insults me directly. But uh, but there was one day. He said, "You." school. Where did you go to school? Then he. Then I said in my mind, today I'll give you a reply that will tell you that I'm not a small kid. He said to him, I went to St. Teresa's, but I finished school in 1981. Then that will give him a reminder that 81 would find him in school. So Either form one or form two. Yeah. So, Nampurun from then, then he, he reduced insulting me personally. Can you tell us some of the oddlies that worked with him? And in particular, do you know the name of this particular oddly that he made cry? Okay. Okay. The one who cried that um, day is Mr. called Tombo It's all right. Can you just write the name for us down so that we can protect his privacy? Okay. okay. okay just write the name down for us. Um, Can you give us the names of the other Odlis who okay. worked with you at the time? Okay. Mr. Jaju, just the name of the person, the oddly who cried. The other names can be, um, you can tell us in public. Please give us the other names of the oddlies who worked at the State House. The oddly who stayed there for long is called Mani. The oddly who stayed there for long is called Bajere Mani. Then you have Ali Usajo. Commonly known as Kabex. Commonly known as Kabex. Then you have Yusuf Asane. P.O. Jata. P.O. Jata. Ali Jame. Ali Jame. These are the ones I could remember as of now. You've already told us how Yaya Jame treated some of you, um, insulting you um, with very very abusive words. Um, can you tell us any other treatment you received at the hands of Yaya Jame or any other treatment you witnessed? Okay. Okay. Those who suffered in it hand mostly suffered are the oddlies because they are the people who stay there mostly and stay along with him. Because I saw he found an oddly lying while others are seated watching. This natural mineral water, Magillene. He will take this water, very cold one, the natural mineral water. He will pour it on you until it finish. Very cold one. Sometimes when he finds you, 
sleeping, he will spray you with Bob spray. Not, not your body, but your head. Sometimes he beats. All that I knew about it. And um, can you just clarify what he would use to beat um, the Oddly's with? He, he has one type of uh, stick or beating they call karawas. He has it with him in his house, and anytime he is moving around to see whether the oddlies are sleeping or not, he moves with that stick, the karawas. And so, what would happen um, when he finds these oddlies uh, sleeping? Sometimes when he is with this avian bottle water, cold one, he will pour that one on you. But if not, if you are having this stick, the karawas, he will use that one to beat to you up. And what about the mosquito spray? Would he also use it on you? Sometimes he uses that one too. You've already said, um, from the interpretation, it sounded like you said he would spray it on somebody's head. Did you mean face or head? Face, face. Face, yeah, yeah I mean face. Thank you. Is that all that you witnessed um, about his ill treatment of Oddly's and other members of staff of his household? Okay. Yes. There is something I did not see it, but I heard about it. Sometimes when he is on tour, if you go when he lifts up his hand, when he brings down his hand, he beats the head of his driver. When he brings down that hand, the hand that was lifted up when he's on tour, anytime it comes down in the car, he uses it to knock the you driver on the you head. You that one too, I've heard about it. And why would he do something like that? <laughs> I, I don't know why. I don't know why. Whether it's an attitude he's adopted with, but I don't know why. Can you tell us where you heard that from? Anytime we go on tour, when he gets into his house, we stay outside and we chat. So during chatting, everybody would be talking about your experience or what has happened on the way. Sometimes too. These are plain clothes guys. This crowd control. This plain clothes guys who always do this crowd control. GRTs do edit it. He takes a stick. A stick, I mean. If, 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 if the car is closer to the people and the oddly who is trying to control the crowd, he uses it to beat them. The plain clothes who are there guarding. He beats them up with that one. Even when we were in Kasakuna, I could remember. He asked the boy to go to the bush and get him sticks. All that I've seen. And um, Mr. Jaju, I assume that working and living in State House must have been very interesting and dramatic. Not, not only interesting, but fearful also. Uh -huh. yeah, not only interesting, but fearful working at the State House. Yeah. Sometimes you'll be seated there and you'll just hear somebody has been taken to the NIA. You would not know why the person has been taken to NIA. So that's why I said it's fearful too. And can you tell us um, who, for example, would be taken to NIA within the uh, domestic staff of the um, president. Sometimes 
This Muhammad I was talking about. This is Sheikh Sayang. Sheikh Sayang. And Sheikh Sanya. Okay. They were once taken to NIA. And do you know why? Mwani waka ni kutibi be NIA. Uh, Muhammad Kesa yola yo kanka nan mistakingly there was uh, mistakingly by nan kulake epur. Uh, in Muhammad's case, mistakingly one time when they were going out. Mila manu kare ndi ebe mwata bepur olu local sabon uran. The water that we always put out for us, the local staffs, the avian water for local staffs. The same bottle of water of avian malakem. Now, the other one is the same bottle of water for us, the local staffs, the avian water. Okay, when he was parking, he mistakenly parked another type of water which was not avian. And when he gave it to the president to drink, when he opened, he saw that the, that bottle was opened before. When I heard about that, I said, thanks be to God, because I was not there. I did not go with them. Then, Does the time they picked uh, Muhammad to the NIE, then interrogation at the state house, then after he was released, after the interrogation? And this Muhammad was the Egyptian steward? And Muhammad was Egyptian. Okay. Yes. You also mentioned um, Sheikh Sanyang, who was a cook, I believe. 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 Almost for the whole day, um, 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 like in a Yamiro yeah, State House. Uh, for Sheikh Sanyang, I cannot know exactly what has happened, but he was picked there and was at the NIA almost a whole day. And we will come to other victimizations um, that Jame caused. But let's just go back to some of the duties. Um, your duties at State House. But Olanya, Beba broke up and Buja Menu Diru State House. Did you travel with the president locally or internationally? Our uh, Mira President Gija or locally or internationally? Before 2006. Before 2006. It was only your your there. We traveled only within the Gambia nationally. Then after 2006, then, internationally with him. Then after 2006, I started traveling with him internationally. Where did you travel with him to? Beji Jawaremi. Jaya Bet Taiwan. Went together to Taiwan. Jaum this OIC Dakar. Went to OIC Dakar. And you performed your duties as steward uh, during those trips. Bo po ban lakum kajawara broka boli kom steward bon lak bon lakum yekane. Aha kai. Yes, that's what I did. And um, during some of the travels that you did with him locally within the country. Um, do you remember observing anything unusual or strange uh, with the president's convoy or motorcade? Yeah, Yes. no. Because then. to this meet the people store. Any, every year we do go for meet the people store. The accidents during the convoy are too much. Because especially when he started throwing out biscuits. The cars kill many people. Until one year. It happens that he has one protocol who was a female. The protocol commented. The lady, when they came back to the state house, said somebody should advise the president because we do have many accidents on the road due to the throwing out of biscuits. When this lady said this after they are returned, immediately the following day she was transferred. 
Then, um, the moment, there's some, boy, one, 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 one time, right? then I was worried because why? She only said that somebody should advise him on the throwing of the biscuit because it's killing a lot of people or there's a, a lot of accident happening. Why should they then transfer her just for saying that? Then what was the name of this protocol? Then there is something going wrong. Uh, the name is Kodu. I forgot the show name, but the name is Kodu. So it was obvious that the president was aware that um, this throwing of biscuits was dangerous and that it was actually killing people. Okay. Now, in 2002 or 200, uh, one MP, Jen Kolfai. Yes, because he should know, because in 2000, uh, around 2001 or 2002? 2001 and 2002. 2001 and 2002. MP, one MP called Jane Qualify. No, no, convoy, no, 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 it was he, Honorable Jane qualified then, who picked up the child and took her to his people. Oh, the child passed away, so it was Jane Qualify who uh, cut down from the trip and attended the burial. Then after the burial, he met them up at Kerawan. So that child was hit by the convoy. That one I remember. Do you remember? other people or children who were hit by the convoy? There was one also here in Senegambia. That one too, he threw the biscuit. Then he was having the Land Rovers. He was driving, they were driving him with the Land Rovers. Uh, the boy was a fuller. A shepherd. Yeah. When he ran to pick the biscuit, the Land Rover hit him. But I, I can't tell whether he died or not, but he was seriously hit. Do you remember the name of the victims? No. I don't. How many incidents would you say there were? Between uh, t t t uh, 2001 to 2008. Mm -hmm. uh, there were too much. Between 2001 to 2008. There is a radio communication in my car where I have his food and beverage. So now I'm going to analog and any time the car hits anyone, I will hear it because they will be communicating, and I will hear it through the radio communication. Would the, would the president also hear that? Yeah, president Obviously, okay, Obviously he will. The PPO and radio, radio, so far. Because, yeah, because the PP in the car also have a radio, that communication radio, he will hear. Do you know? If at any time the president would stop the motor card or actually go to the victims, um, the families of these victims, to pay condolences. Yeah. I've, I've, never, I've never seen that since I joined them from 2001 to 2002. The convoy hitting someone, he stops, so he goes there. I've not seen it during Ambulance my time. You are doing money pick up to the nearest health center and drop the money. It's the ambulance that we're traveling with that stops, picks the person, takes to the nearest health facility, and then follows up. How do you feel about the accident of this outrider? Even, even when an accident happened with the riders uh, riding within the state house, riding, riding bike, we don't stop. 
So you're saying that also members of um, yeah, IJM security were victims of this? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Fung, fung. Yes, yes. And um, how many of them were there, if you can recall, of IJM security um, personnel or members of the convoy who were killed or injured? One, we were from a dinner in Senegambia. You want to be at Bibi Johnson? <coughs> uh, we, we, up, we drive up to Bibi Johnson. The outrider, the Akamuri the, the motor. The rider man. Met with a driver. <coughs> the, <car. coughs> the person died instantly, the one who was driving the <coughs> ride. We all, we all dived and went back home. When we reached at the state house, at the time we knew that the guy who was driving the motorcade died. But the, the boy is from Sinted. I cannot remember the name. But he is from Sinted. I can see that uh, that guy's uh, funeral, even Imam Fati attended. That one was attended. Um, um, first lady at the, airport. the other one went to pick the first lady from the airport. Um, um, outrider. That, one, um, that one is an outrider. Same thing, um, that uh, Brigetti Bibi Baba. The BB bridge there is where he had his accident. I cannot remember the name, but the surname was Kande. He was from the provinces. And what, what about Mr. Jaju? Sorry to cut you. I just want to get the name of the previous um, motorcycle driver who also had an accident. And did they die? Uno was a compro Makengi. And Amundu Mabaji and accident did I die? Uh, yes, he died. From Sinted. But I cannot remember the name, but the surname is Nyasi, and he was from Sinted. The second, uh, the second person was Kande. Was Kande. I cannot also remember the name. He was from the provinces. He also died. The Pope from Kombo, Pope. 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 The, the former proprietor of the Bakot Hotel. Convoy along. There is another guy also who was hit by the convoy and he died. Karetsa Kola? Willie. Willie. Willie Bakot. Willie Bakot. Bakot. Bakot Hotel. He said Willie Bakot Hotel. Yeah. Also was hit by a convoy and he also died. died. And he was a private citizen. Manuara Kodumburok di Mansakunda. Honey. No. He was from his house going to Tendaba and in his car yeah. when he was hit. Immediately yeah. he came out from his house or compound. By the time the convoy was just there, right there, and it hit him. And in all these instances, um, yeah, Jabe never gave any. Apologies to the families, condolences, or any form of compensation. Ben Urutu Nambaji Mia, Jama Mustajo Bay, the Bukana Koli, Purmamba Safi, Nuclear Mante, Mamba, Lavi, Kayamfu, who are for Abanya Mumu. Mantelaka, but you must eat your Mustajam. Maybe he Mr. will, Kalanda. but I've never known about it or hear yeah, about it. Would you say that there were up to 10 deaths, including civilians as well as security officers? We it, ten. It's more than 10. 20? Because the, the last one happened the one that hit and Yundum. killed someone happened in Yundum. Many people died. Can you give us an approximate number? From 2001 to 2008, from 2001 to if I can remember, it will reach up to 20. There was a time I even told my commander then it was Sering Modu. Is it possible for me to go in advance? Because the way the convoy runs or the drives. 
as dans ce jour accidents are too much nano nano anya na pou advancement advance as solay abe kambu so said so, so, replied if you happen to go as advance if the president needs you what would happen yani wakili nya man eno kendi convoy always then i decided to take back a seat and join the convoy would you describe um, the ex president yaya jame as a pleasant person kong a president man no man jome no pour ngon no rek man te ko anna soume bo wonu wali rek kes kes ma ko la kulo yeri so du ngon do anna soume his pleasantness can doesn't go far so i cannot say he is that type because it happened within a short period you worked with him and you've had experiences of the way he treated people was he a nice person that's what i meant aw nur rok di ya jamme ban nu jujuk man ak kane meno di bukanak man te pour ngonu rego man te anan nu man yana soumi well okay totu pon teñ ki jaay parce que bala o rek ay mi ana jake parce que ñe di ba miro la bu mom there it will be difficult to say because before you identify somebody as a nice person from my own view or perspective to to ba ana kane wa jake di ba ka djupo e it will be like somebody who has been doing good amongst many people ba nya o kanya o foko no jake but if you do one good thing nu kan ka banan ba ko djie then you do 20 bad things it will it pantegni ma be rek um ajake it will be very difficult to say that person is a nice person what would be your personal opinion yeah i want one not to make rege i want to juke de manyere bi am bu not me rege o an façon bu ma from your own experience di ak ko manja rek ak ci wonu rasole nge in 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 okay je di general tam da di ki kado anajake For me generally I will not take him to be a nice person. Kant nan Abu Sakano wa jake de. Nan Musa Kano wa jake ba dai. In general term dal. It's not that he has not been nice to me. He do do good things and nice things to me. But generally he is not a good person or a nice person. And you've also explained the unpleasantness of the working um, environment at State House. Num bo regam bo broka mam bu teñi meno di o. Nan jonja broka di 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 palace yolo. Ah okay. Yes. What were what were your working hours like? Ya suat solo sanjuro kemi suat buma. E jaati bro kawu nu manje manju yo. We know what time we're going to work. Bar nya kawala ko. But closing time. O nya program to yemi. That is where the problem is. Tell us what the problem was. Wa kan e man do kan problem wa ta kawala ko. Parce que exemple ya 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 bro kawu half past 5 am. Parce que Angela Beya Beya School, so for example, Ujeli, man, Ujeli, Angela, that's my wala. It's like today when I go early from half past five to work because I have to. We have to prepare breakfast for the children to eat because they're going to school. Bala wala. Before you close. On 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 working hours. Let's say I work in this Monday to Friday. Like on working days Monday to Friday. I look at you, brother. Let's say half past eight, nine o'clock. I'm at the office. You'll wake up at half past eight, nine. You'll be in the office. Now when I walk office, man, there be five. He can be in the office till five o'clock. I will not serve. I say, "Kawa, you cannot call a condom away." You serve his wife and his people, his her relatives, their lunch. You will go to man, there be six, seven. Then you sit there until six or seven. Now the dinner long condom away. Then he will call for his lunch. I know when I arrive at six, seven condom. You just imagine somebody who have taking lunch six or seven p.m. Nya pangila kabe manjikop. So you'll have to sit and wait. Nya pangila kabe around after one, two. Sometimes you have to be seated until one or two a.m. Nengarus, nengarus, si jamie nasu na jibu. You will then bring the goods and say kill them. I wonder obu just jamie nasu ban balau joinen. You remember if you after killing the goods. When will you finish preparing? Nike two three o'clock in the morning. Sometimes two three a.m. Ban nike na na bijam kani na kani fa fa kani nike six no no angara si mga wala na si si mga wala six eight a.m. Sometimes uh, when you go to Kandelai, he takes his lunch at six a.m. Dinner. Dinner. 
6 a.m. Breakfast or dinner? Dinner. <laughs> and when would you sleep? Yeah, what do you know to come work out for you? Nike ham abeja beto odle man ufin direct we kun wana ya afindo nike afindo ya be around 10 11 naito. You have to go to the orderlies and take a nap. He would also get into his house until 10 11. Then he wakes up. Na akeng da sama ola. Then he start asking for his breakfast. 10 11 fukara. Tulara. Ah okay. 10 11 a.m. Then he asks for. No. Oh, uh, the odd, uh, very odd hours of eating. Okay. Yeah. He has odd hours of eating. And what about of sleeping? We were told that he hardly sleeps. experience From my experience. Yeah, He is full of fear. He's full of fear, that's why he doesn't sleep. From my experience, and the way I think, he doesn't want to be alone. He doesn't want to be alone. So he was paranoid, in other words. Fang, Fang, you are me Yes, that's his name. What was he scared of? Nyawana kuliyemi. Yalong ana na pukaru ukaru mukaru kambi kakajupe kodi. You know, if you do many bad things onto people. So you'll always be thinking who will come and revenge. Revenge. You will not know. Always for a create social gathering. That's why always he creates society societal gathering to occupy him during the times that he was awake. Exactly. Okay. And um, we are not going to go into now, um, into that now, but I assume that would be the time when the attire girls would come and also him the attire. Yeah. Yeah. It can be attire, it can be organized, organized. It could be attire, it could be any other phone, even um, the look drumming and dancing. Are drumming, the bugara. For them to be dancing and people be dancing, just to keep him a company. And just to go back to the working hours, um, your family was just staying a few blocks away from State House. How often would you get to see them? Nya kum mula nya kum watay broka boli. Mone di mayoli kuluile wasiko. Nya bunu pulem bo mujo be 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 jo be jo koli. Nike 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 hon ingwa ingwa ko mus forty eight hours. Di mbay mwe misa ringwa ni juke paske kai tele bujo mura. Sometimes it takes two days, 48 hours, because um, I'll, I will not see the small ones. Because the time I wake up to go to work, they're sleeping. The time I come back from work, they're also sleeping. And so you devoted and dedicated your whole time to President Yaya Jame at State House? Yes. And what was your reward? The reward I have from working for him. Arrest me and put me at one place. Mr. Jaju, we will have to stop there and then we will continue with your arrest and detention when we come back from the Yeah, Mr. Jaju, Panure, I to follow Mujaka Kayola Wasikun, Bula Laja, and continue to suffer me, my name is Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chairman, I hand over the witness uh, for the break. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Council, and uh, thank you, Mr. Jaiju. We will take a 30 minute break and come back at uh, 12 from 45. Meeting is adjourned. <laughs>